When a philosophical question is asked, such as... I want to ask you guys a question. Like one of those questions like, where will you be in five years type thing? Or where do you want to be? But I want it to be different. Okay, here's one. Uh, if you could do anything in the world before you died, what would it be? Anything, absolutely anything, like skydiving, I don't know, something in the entire world, what would it be? complex, too complex to put in the restricted comments down below, so it requires a video response. Uh, and the question is, what would you like to do anything before you die? And that's, that's, that's a rather complex question because uh, most people don't give it any thought. They don't consider where they're going in life uh, in terms of where it's going to end up and so on and so forth. Most people just simply live their lives and they go on their own merry old way. Um, ironically, uh, well, I don't know, ironically or bizarrely enough, uh, I've never been that person. I've always asked questions uh, I like that these philosophical questions, these philosophical life questions, and I was never satisfied with just a simple answer. I always had to go out and search for things, and it's left, it's wound me up in the point where I am today. Where if I had to ask myself where I wanted to be, then this is actually probably where I want to be. So I am where I want to be, or and have done the things and are doing the things that I want to do before I die. Uh, it, it, and now this may sound bizarre, but my life isn't the uh, the average person's life. I get to see things in my life that the average person doesn't get to see. Uh, with my research library, uh, I've had access to a lot of ancient texts, so I know that there is a um, there is a distinct possibility of beyond death. Now, what exactly is beyond death, I'm not too sure, but uh, I certainly uh, I am in the position to sort of really study and uh, 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 and sort of, if that is the case, prepare that as an option for myself. So death isn't the finality that most people uh, will experience. Uh, for me, uh, at least anyways, I have that option to see if death isn't the finality, the, 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 the that that final uh, and there is a beyond for me. And now what b what b beyond is, I have no idea. Uh, but then again, I have no idea uh, what's coming up down the week. Uh, my life is about open exploration of the universe. Uh, that's my chosen career. Uh, and so what I understand from day to day is completely different. And what I'm going to understand in the future, I have no idea. So. Uh, death and beyond death, uh, while although an intriguing point, uh, at this point in time, doesn't necessarily have the the issues that it does for many people. Although it does have that frightening sense to it of finale, that that this is the end, and it could be the end, and that's sort of where the anxiety will come in, but. Uh, at any rate, uh, if there is a beyond, the question is, well, what is beyond? And uh, what do you do beyond that? <laughs> my, uh, my comments to this is that, uh, you know, my fear of death is more of a coffin than anything else because it's too claustrophobic. You don't have any room to move around. Let's say you want to get up in the middle of the night for a snack or something like that. How can you do that in a coffin? It's too confining. <laughs> and was like, well, you're going to be dead. Well, I don't know about that. You know, I might, I may be that one person who, you know, get what needs to get up and roam around every so often. <laughs> but uh, uh, interesting point, interesting question. Uh, I don't know how many other people are going to answer this. Uh, it should be interesting, uh, or if they're going to do a video response at all, or if they've even thought about this. Anyways, thank you for the asking the philosophical question, Cassandra, and 
I don't know. Well, see you on the internet. See you on YouTube.